First, live, local. This is Fox 12 Now. And hello, everyone. I'm Greg Nibbler. This is Fox 12 Now. As always, appreciate you joining us. We are live streaming on our social media channels, on our apps, and of course on the website. I always like to remind everybody that because if this is your first time, you can find lots of other places to watch us. We get to have some great conversations on here, but this next one I am fascinated by because I really have very little knowledge of it, and I'm excited to learn more about it. So there's a movie called Sticker Movie that is going to be premiering here in Portland on October 6th at Cinemagic, and it is all about stickers, sticker culture, everything associated with that. And to talk all about it, we have the director and producer joining us, Will Deloney. Uh, really appreciate you being here on the show today to, to cover this. Uh, thanks for being a part of it. And, you know, I, I watched the trailer for this. I read up on it, and... I am so excited to learn more about it. So I figured maybe maybe it would be best to just hand it off to you here. How did you uh, first get interested in making a movie, a documentary about stickers? Yeah, so I, I'm one of those people that always gets really immersed in a documentary that I'm working on. So um, I myself love stickers and started trading stickers and th there's there's a culture behind trading stickers not only are there artists making them but trading is sort of the basis for international street art so sticker artists will make stickers and then mail them to brazil or japan or mexico or wherever and then those artists will put their stickers up in their countries and so it's really a great way for you know, artists to have their work in various parts of the world. So I started kind of trading and I traded with an artist named Agent Five Smith. Um, and I saw that she had written a feature film that year. It was 2019. And I, I kind of did a little bit of homework and I hit up Agent Five Smith and I was like, hey, I'm kind of have this idea I've been toying around with. I, I really think there's some potential behind like a documentary about sticker culture and just right off the bat we kind of hit it off and she was like yeah i've been thinking about this and she's very very deep into the sticker culture and um was just a really great person to partner with so therese um and i have been working on this project for coming up i mean we're basically at three years um the world premiere happening in Portland um, the first weekend of October kind of puts us at the three-year mark. Um, and in, in the beginning stages, I knew that we had something really special visually. It's such a visual medium. And then just being able to see something that's like, you know, a small sticker on a big screen format. There's something right. really interesting about that. Um so so kind of right off the bat, we knew we had something visual, but then, you know, we started interviewing a couple of folks and we realized that the story we could tell and just kind of introducing the culture and, you know, what stickers are and, you know, what's behind stickers, both literally and figuratively, um, became, you know, really uh relevant right off the bat and just we knew we some we had something special on our hands well it is something that you know you mentioned it's obviously so very visual so that that element is hugely there but you know it's it's one of those things that i think a lot of us see every single day and i just didn't ever really think about it as you know a culture and i like stickers i've got stickers for you know bands i've made my own stickers for podcasts for all kinds of stuff but looking at it from that aspect of people, you know, really sharing them, I think that's really interesting that, you know, sharing them with somebody in Brazil, like how does the, the artwork side of it, how do they even convene to know where somebody else is to share stickers like that? Well, it, like you said, basically when you're a little kid, you know, you're giving, you're given these stickers as rewards. Um, so it is something that has a lot of nostalgia value and, it, it's something that when you become an artist, a sticker artist, and you start making your own stickers, and like you said, there's bands that make stickers. I mean, stickers are huge in skateboarding culture. 
um, the Chiquita banana sticker. There's, you, right. you know, can you imagine? Can you imagine how many of those are made? But there's an aspect to it, you know, where artists are making stickers for the sole purpose of getting their images or their messages up in the street, and that's up in the public, and that's something that's really. I think unique about sticker art and sticker culture is that it's truly democratic. Anybody can participate. You can come and be a part of sticker art and kind of street art and put your message up or put your image up or put your character up and you can participate. Um, the reactions to that is gonna vary depending on what your message is and what your art looks like. Um, but, you know, when you start to put the pieces of the puzzle together where you see stickers on a dumpster or you see, you know, stickers on the back of a street sign or, you know, wherever you start to pay attention and you're like, oh, look, there's stickers there. And you, th that's when, you know, once you kind of see it, you can't unsee it. Right. Like you're, you're stuck, you get it. You're like, oh, wow. And then what's really interesting is there's, a whole underground network of artists all over the world that are participating by making stickers and trading stickers. Um, and so kind of one of the ways that, you know, it used to be different technology changes and the way artists are being brought together changes, but, you know, Instagram is a big kind of platform right now where, you know, it's visual, you're allowed to DM people. So there's a lot of artists that connect on Instagram. Um, but, you know, before that, there was, you know, other sites that people would go right. to and, <laughs> and figure out ways to kind of communicate to trade stickers. But yeah, I mean, and, and you know, there's artists that love trading stickers and they'll spend their packs like, one pound of stickers all over the world. There's an artist I know in Germany and I just, I can't even imagine the amount of money he spends on shipping right. and, and just, but it's all, and that's one, one of the other things that a lot of people kind of don't understand right away. It's like, what, you're just like shipping stickers all over the world and you're paying for the shipping. Like they're not paying yeah. for the stickers, but like that's, one of the interesting things about the community, it's like you trade and there's there's some rules to trading um, and there's some rules to the sticker game, but um, you know, people love it so much that they're willing, you know, to spend their own money and dedicate time. And there's a lot of people, you know, that a big, big part of their lives is stickers and that can be trading them, collecting them, making them, putting them up or all of the above. Is it mostly like a, a passion type of thing or is there a monetary side of it where you have the commercial side of, of this kind of culture or is it really just the love of sharing artwork and paying money to send it, send it all across the world like the guy in Germany? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say this, if you're interested in making stickers because you because you hope you're going to make money off of it <laughs> you're probably entering it for the wrong reasons um most sticker artists i mean not all sticker artists but you know most aren't s trying to sell you like if you're in a trade there's no you know money changing hands you know they may have a big cartel or something where they sell sticker packs and that's you know, not unusual, but I mean, mo if anything, that's to cover the cost of making the art. Um, you know, most artists that are participating are doing it strictly for the love. Um, and it's one of those things, you know, sticker movie, I, I think one of the things I really appreci appreciate about sticker movie is that like, it, we're trying to kind of, capture what this art form looks like right now. It's a very temporary um, art that like, if street art doesn't last long, it has a very short lifespan, you know, compared to framed posters or things that are in galleries. And so, um, you know, sticker movie, part of what we're doing is preserving 
a legacy of artists that are participating right now. And it's been, you know, there's some that have been doing this for 15 years or longer. Um, and so it's, it's kind of a way to honor all of the artists that do this and show their art in a way that can live longer than the stickers that are up um, may, you know, may live. So that's one of the things I think that's really special about Sticker Movie is it's like documenting something and showing a snapshot yeah. of something that's, you know, temporary, you know, given the grand scheme of things. Right. I mean, and something that's so visual, too, that you can see. But yeah, granted, I mean, those are going to go away. Stickers will be taken down or the, you know, the artwork will change. Um, I think another thing that's really uh, I would I would love if I could just find out a little bit more information because it seems like you've got some really interesting characters too that you interview as part of this and I wonder if you could just talk about a couple of those. Yeah, well that right there uh is Stella Confuse, uh an Italian uh street artist and sticker artist and you know what's uh, another part of the sticker movie story that's really fantastic is a lot of these artists have a mission, um, and and his is kind of bringing awareness to to climate change and trying to find interesting, proactive ways to talk about it. Um, he uh, his stickers, every single one of them, says "plant a tree." Um, and then you know, there's other artists like you just saw "buy it, jump up there." Here's Shepherd Fairy. Um, a lot of them, a lot of these artists come to it and they have kind of a statement or something that they want to be heard. Um, we have an artist in the film that, you know, does an interview and is, is profiled named John John Lives. And um, his mission is to bring awareness to suicide prevention. Um, he had a cousin who passed away from suicide. And so, he puts up a sticker of his, a drawing of his cousin. And, um, he, you know, he does a lot of great things to raise money and raise awareness for suicide prevention. Um, so yeah, I, and that, that was the other kind of, you know, fascinating thing about diving into sticker movie is you just learn about these artists and, you know, from all over the world, we interviewed, um, 88 artists from 22 different wow. countries. There's five different languages in the film. I mean, there's hundreds of artists, all continents represented um, in one fat, one way or another in, in the movie. Um, but just some of the stories that, you know, these artists come, um, you know, that are, that are they're sharing and a lot of it's really personal. Um, you know, one of the things that we address is mental health. And we started this project at the height of the pandemic. And sticker art was something that was just across the board, really helpful for artists. It was a way to get out of your house. It was a way to talk to other people with the common interest. Um, it's, it, it can be viewed as a healthy addiction where you're trading right. it for another another less healthy addiction um so there's there's just a lot of positive things about sticker art that we really wanted to kind of shine a light on and put a lens on um and so that's one of the things that you know can be said also is like this is really a celebration of sticker art and artists that are you know telling unique interesting stories that need to be heard or that we believe need to be heard. What is, um, what's one of the most surprising things that you found out through the process of this, of making this movie? Um, I, I think one of the most surprising things that, that I haven't already talked about. I mean, one of the things was just learning how truly democratic it is. Like it's a very self-regulated, network of artists and like there's things that happen there's like beefs that happen in the community where one thing or another will happen and then you know you'll literally see kind of different people chime in and comment on something and you know it kind of resolves itself in a somewhat democratic way which is 
interesting to see, you know, right. at that level. Um, but then I think the the other surprising thing I learned is just like how much love and energy goes into this for some people. Um, I mean, there's some people that just live stickers. They they wake up and they make stickers that, you know, a lot of people hand draw stickers. Um, and so, you know, they're drawing stickers every single day and it's very therapeutic. And so it's just, it's surprising to see the level of commitment and just the amount of time that a lot of people will put into this. Um, and then the other thing I think that's, you know, surprising is just the variety of responses you get to, to sticker art. Um, you know, it, it, it's anything from, oh, I've never thought of stickers as an art form and I didn't realize people, you know, are making stickers to like, um, you know, th there's, there's so many stickers like on on a certain street corner or you know a certain part of the neighborhood where it's like the reaction is like I, how in the world did this many people even find this location um so yeah yeah i mean that's just a lot right there well to to bring it here to um to the portland side of things what was it about portland that made you want to have the world premiere here in this city yeah, that's a really great question. Um, a, I'll, I'll tell you this, I love Portland. I've had the opportunity to spend some time in Portland working on other documentaries, but, you know, related to Sticker Movie, it, it's arguably one of the top five sticker cities in the world. Um, I would argue it's the top sticker city in the U.S., and that's just for a number of reasons. I mean, the number of artists that are in Portland alone. It's a really uh, thriving community with a lot of artists that participate. Um, and, and that's one of the reasons that we're super excited about it. Um, just kind of the support and the community involved and behind it is really special. Um, there's a lot of people that you know, take a special interest in street art in Portland and support it and promote it and kind of, again, I think like finding the artistic and beneficial side of it mm -hmm. um, is something that is unique to Portland, like where there's a community that appreciates it and supports it and wants to see it kind of nurtured um is is one of the reasons that makes portland a really great sticker city um and then yeah just the ability to like find you know stickers out and about when you go on walks or you're going through the city of portland um i think is also really special i am so much going to be paying more attention to every sticker that i see now just in my neighborhood just looking at this, and, and and I'm really looking forward to the movie, too, to learn more about it. I mean, this is something I really didn't have an understanding about. I mean, I like stickers you know, as much as the next person, but knowing now how much more there is out there and how much goes into that, it's it's uh, truly interesting. And uh, I want to let everybody know, too, you know, since it is premiering here in Portland, people here in Oregon, in southwest Washington, you know, you have a chance to go see it. So can you talk about that premiere and, and uh, give some more information on that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we are premiering October 6th at 7 p.m. at Cinemagic Theater on Hawthorne Street. Um, we have three screenings um, this this coming, well, not this weekend, but the next, October 6th, 7th, and 8th. So October 6th and 7th, they're both at 7 p.m. Um, if you haven't bought your tickets for Friday and you want to go on Friday, I highly encourage you, you do that soon because it will sell out and we don't want to have a ton of people show up on Friday thinking that they're just going to be able to buy tickets at the door and then there's not tickets. That's always a bummer. So um, buy your tickets online. You can either go to stickermovie.com or Cinemagic's website to find, you know, the link to buy your tickets. 
um, Saturday night again at 7 p.m. And then we're doing a Sunday matinee screening at 4 p.m. at Cinemagic. And w the whole crew will be there. Some of the artists nice. um, that are in the film will be there. So uh, we'll be there trading stickers. If you want to trade stickers, we'll be selling stickers. We'll have stickers that you can put up on sticker movie posters. Um, it'll be a good time. We have events all through the weekend as well. Um, please check our website for the events. We're landing in Portland, uh, excuse me, in Portland, and we'll be there starting noon on Friday at PDX Exchange, um, where, again, it'll kind of just be a hangout where we're trading stickers. Um, there's an after party after Friday. Saturday, we have a neighborhood block party coming going on where we welcome everybody to come to this big block party. And then Sunday, we kind of have a family-friendly event, kind of a brunch-style sticker trade, bring your kids um, at Lottie and Zula's um, on Sunday. Um, so if you're looking for, like, more of a, you know, family-friendly, laid-back screening, I recommend Sunday. Um, Friday, it's going to be a party, but if you don't have your tickets, get them quick. Saturday will be the same, but, yeah, we hope to get everybody out and um, we're really, really excited about having our premiere in Portland and big ups to Ryan at Cinemagic, um, you know, for hosting our movie. And I do want to give a special thanks to RX Skulls. He's a local Portland artist that's really been um, doing a lot of work behind the scenes for us, helping us make some things happen so that we can have all these events and have these parties and have these screenings. So we're really looking forward to it. We got a, a, a weekend packed full of fun opportunities and hope everybody can come join us. Yeah, that's come say so hello. much going on. Yeah, yeah. Come say <laughs> hello if you if you come to one of our events and you, and you see me, I'll be there. Come, come that say is, howdy. Uh, that's a lot more than just an ordinary pr movie premiere. So you, you've got a whole weekend of things that people can be a part of. Well, Will, thank you very much for joining us here. Uh, to talk about this congratulations on making this movie and really excited to see it and find out more about it and um just really really interesting stuff so thanks for for having some time to talk to us here yeah no thank you greg i appreciate the opportunity to be here and uh hopefully i can see you out there either uh friday yep. or saturday we i can think uh, you will. yeah <laughs> cool that would be yep. that'd be <clears throat> awesome that'd be yep. awesome Absolutely. Well, Will, thanks so much. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. And for everybody joining here, again, this is Fox 12 Now. Uh, we are live here every weekday at 1 p.m. Pacific, so thanks for joining us. Um, thanks for sifting through. My voice has been a little bit rough here over the last couple of days, but thank you for uh, putting up with that. There's an explanation on Monday's episode, 1 p.m. episode, that explains that, so you can go back and find that. Uh, but uh, regardless, this is uh, always interesting here to get to talk to so many different people about so many different projects, learn about different things, and that's what we get to do as part of this show. So I appreciate you coming along with us. You can find out all of our... Uh, well, you can watch all of our other interviews on the Fox 12 Oregon YouTube channel. On the app, you can hit the Fox 12 Now button. So lots of places to find those. And uh, thanks for joining us. I'm going to go ahead and sign off right now. But if there's breaking news that comes up here in the next couple of hours, come right back to where you are. And I will be here sharing that information with you. Um, but we'll sign off.